Hello, my name is Sean McCafferty. I am an ophthalmologist at Arizona Eye Consultants, and I have relevant conflicts of interest listed, namely CAT stenometer, which owns the intellectual property on the product being tested. I will be discussing the relationship between intraocular pressure measured by a corneal biomechanical correcting and a standard Goldman prism across the spectrum of primary open angle glaucoma. The purpose of the study is to evaluate differences between intraocular pressure measured by a Goldman applanation tonometry prism and a modified correcting applanation tonometry surface prism across the spectrum of primary open angle glaucoma. The modified prism incorporates a concave convex surface designed to significantly decrease the Goldman tonometer's sensitivity to all corneal biomechanics without overall population IOP bias. The paper is a retrospective cross-sectional study over a four-month period at a multi-specialty, multi-site outpatient eye clinic. It included all patients whose IOP was measured sequentially by a standard Goldman prism and a modified prism. The cohorts included 1,244 eyes and 160, 628 patients, of which 122 had no pathology. 195 were considered glaucoma suspect by optic nerve appearance. 157 had ocular hypertension, defined as untreated IOP greater than 21 millimeters of mercury, and 154 had primary open angle glaucoma defined as progressive optic nerve fiber loss demonstrated by automated perimetry and or OCT, which was attributable to elevated IOP and no other secondary etiologies. Corneal hysteresis and central corneal thickness data were also collected on all the cohorts. Co cohorts. All cohorts were well age, gender, and racial distribution matched. Corrected prism IOP measurements, measurements were significantly greater at 1.58 millimeters of mercury than their paired Goldman measurements in primary open angle glaucoma compared to normalized. Ocular hypertensive and glaucoma suspect patients also demonstrated significantly higher paired differential IOP measurements than patients without pathology. As expected, both Corneal hysteresis and central corneal thickness demonstrated a significant decrease in measurement from normal to primary open angle glaucoma patients. Also, as demonstrated in other studies, the corneal corrected minus standard uh, Goldman differential IOP correlated significantly to central corneal thickness, corneal hysteresis, and age. About 13% of the primary open angle glaucoma core cohort and 17% of the ocular hypertension cohort had an IOP greater than 21 millimeters of mercury measured by the corrected surface prism, while the paired standard Goldman IOP measured below 21 millimeters of mercury. A modified Goldman biomechanical correcting prism demonstrates a significantly greater IOP than the standard Goldman prism among glaucoma patients which increases across the spectrum from normal eyes to primary open angle glaucoma. Corneal hysteresis and central corneal thickness significantly decrease across the spectrum of primary open angle glaucoma.